Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Scrappy Saturday. Woohoo! So, uh, we will get into all of this in just a moment. Let's say hi and hugs first to Betty, Junelle, Amy, and Sunday's Art. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so over and over again, I get questions about what do you do with your pages that you glue on to collage, right? So we're going to talk about that again today a little bit and um, just maybe do some collaging. Lord knows I have plenty of scraps. So, um, so let's get started. The glue pages. This little bucket is full of glue pages that I've glued on. And then when they're too sticky, I have folded them in half. Either this way or long ways. So tags, journal cards, and pockets. Or a side pocket, right? So we may, we may work on those a bit. Um... So that is one that is one thing I do with the with the glue pages. Um just old books. Gosh, um yeah, just old books. So here are some of the ones that I did this past weekend. Let me move that for a moment. Um that I did this past weekend and they are First of all, on the back of the glue page, I used these strips. You see me tear off the like the margins of a book page or something like that. I keep all those and I either stamp on them or I can put them on the back of journal cards. Journal cards and or pages. So a couple of ways to use those scraps. So anyway, I'll just thumb through these and show them to you. And I thought we might we might get some decorating done today. That'd be good. Here's a couple of fall ones. I'm excited about those. So yeah, we might de do some decorating too. Who knows? But I want to talk more about the collage. So junk mail. We all get it, right? This Patagonia... Um, catalog has very nice paper in it very nice so what I'm going to do with that is what I've done with this catalog this is a cruise catalog and I have just done collage on all the pages in here or some of the pages various collages and you've you know if you've been with me a while you probably have done those with me on a scrappy Saturday so see now then the other day while I was watching tv I just had this book my glue book and my glue stick and my basket of scraps and I just did the backs of some pages here so that I'd have them all ready to go and then, of course, it, we get into pages that haven't been used yet. But there's like, there's 162 pages in here. That's a lot of collaging. This was from a different catalog. I just have those in the back. Again, they're just the, the plain, so can be collaged on the front. And then some of them I have... I have for one reason or another torn them out these have already been made into stuff so they're kind of scraps this one only needs to be sewn around so I kind of make a pile of that of these two like let's just just gonna cut off the edge and this one will be like that this one will be ready to be sewn like like these I sew around the edges and then decorate somehow in the middle. So this is sewing pile. I don't know. We may cut up some of these too. Why not get them kind of going? Sometimes I decorate them before I sew them. Like this, this one doesn't have any um, backing so we can make pockets out of it if we don't want to back it. This one's backed so it'll be 
Um, it will be journal cards. Yeah, so anyway, um, using up scraps is what it's all about. And then it becomes, you know, they become useful pieces in, in your journals. So the other thing I did on the weekend when I was kind of tired of doing those is I did, <laughs> did some of these for fall because I wanted some fall. This one's not fall, but... But yeah, so um, this is all what I'm going to play with. I have out my scraps. I also have lots of things that I want to use up decorating-wise. So we might do that too. Well, we'll definitely cut these up and get those on the go. Um, I felt like there was one other one that was somewhat fallish looking. This one. Um since though that's that's where I'm going next that's my next projects that one could be cute for fall too that one's fall ish other than this <laughs> so maybe we'll just play with those a little bit okay so uh, another benefit of having them in a book like this is um, I have these and then I have um, I stick them under a couple of enamelware trays that I keep like my beeswax paper in and my mamagami and then it flattens them out too. So that's that's another plus. Okay. Well, let's just get to play and I need a bigger cutter than that. So, okay. Where was that little one? This one. I'm just going to cut that. Kind of maybe maybe middle wise. See, so it's about eight and a half, so four and a quarter would be about right. Okay. Oops. Got to got to give it a little more umph than I did, I guess. There we go. So there we have a couple little journal cards. I'm going to put those in the sewing pile. Um, now let's see. This, I want to cut, I want to cut off the butterfly because he's not, he's not going to be fall-ish, but I'll lose that. Maybe we'll make like, we'll make this like a side pocket for a page. So is it? Oh yeah, it's less than eight and a half, so that's great. So it can go sideways. Let's just, so I remember what I'm doing. Go like that, okay? That goes in the sewing. Okay, so then this, what's left is very kind of fall-ish, at least that part. I think I'm gonna make this into three tags. How big is this? About eight and a half. So if I go two, let's try two and three quarters and see where we get to. See, won't that be a cute fall tag? Yes, because, you know, you need so much ephemera. Oh, I just love all of those. Um, you need so much ephemera for a journal. And as you have seen, me do uh, just recently in the four journals at once series. If you've got your a lot of your ephemera pre-made, it makes your putting together the a journal just go lickety split. Okay, just gonna cut them into what they're gonna be, so I know. And then yeah, and then I'm gonna sew around all of these. So that goes in the sewing pile. Okay, let's cut up these real quick here. It's also fun to turn them over and not see what you're gonna get, but I'm kind of working with the, I'm working with the pictures a little bit. Um, let's see. 
this one. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want, kind of want a pocket if I go right there, but then they're gonna be pretty, pretty small pockets. I am going to, well, I am just weak on the cutter today, aren't I? I probably need to change my, change my wheel. Okay, so I want this to be like at least four and a half. That leaves, I guess, just a small journal card. So that those are fine. Those are good journal cards. Okay, now let's do this as tags again. Gail, 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 tell me to slow down. Just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna go. Okay. So yeah, sometimes I think it's helpful just to see, you know. Okay, so you do that, then what do you do? You know, um, but you know, these books, these glue books, there's always confusion between this glue book that I glue on and a glue book that is kind of like a um, an art journal in that you glue pictures that are pleasing to you in it and, you know, do some collage in it and that kind of thing. So, um, so it's been good to to kind of explain that a couple times especially for new folks anyway um anyway nothing is wasted is what i'm getting at is you know you just um we can just use all of this this is some this is some paper that i got on amazon got another bath i'll have to show you guys that um how tall is this? Oh, it's less than eight and a half, but I'd like some tall tags is what I'm thinking. Okay, this one's a bit bigger. This one's nine. So if I did seven, I'm going to go seven this way. I would make a taller tag. And then this I could make into a side pocket. I'm just going to cut off this part right here. Teeny weeny little journal card. <laughs> I might round the corners of that or something. Okay, let's give that a clip on this side okay and it's gonna go here's a piece of paper it's gonna go like this on a page and be a side pocket but I want to sew around it okay so then this is gonna be tags taller tags kind of taller skinny ish or fattish what do I want to do um, okay. go three and a quarter there. I'm going to get on the other side of that. That. And then this one. Oh, that could be a nice big journal card, couldn't it? Let's count that as a big journal card. And I will snip these two. The other thing you could do, rather than snip in a tag shape, is you could round the corners. And I think that's what I'll do on this one because I don't want to lose that 17. Let's just do a quarter, yeah, just a quarter round. Although, let's, let's do it well. <laughs> and then this will be kind of a different shape tag. Or as Rachel at Roxy Creations, you can snip the corners too. But we're getting quite a pile, which is so awesome. 
Okay, so we've done a lot of tags. Let's do, oops, I'm flinging scraps. Um, let's do some journal cards on, with this one. Okay, first of all, let's tidy up this edge. Can always kind of tell the edge that was pulled out of the magazine. There we go. Okay, um, this is, this is eight and a half. So, okay, go four and a quarter that way. Okay, I'm gonna just jump in. Let's do it. Okay, and then this is 10, so it's going to be 5. Okay, journal cards. Bada bing, bada boom. 5, okay. Okay, so journal cards. So we have, just by cutting all that up, look at all the ephemera we have. People have said, like on my four journals at once, gosh, you have so much um, ephemera made. Well, that's why. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. Okay, so let's grab, for, just to take you from the beginning to the end. Okay, so pretend we've glued on this. I've pulled it out and I've... Um, I've folded it in half, okay? So I am going to straighten off this end. Sometimes I leave it jaggedy too, because that's kind of cool too. So yeah, so let's do one start to finish and then we'll start decorating, okay? So let's use our strips because this is a great way to use to use your strips. Let's use this one. Whoop. <laughs> Whoops. Got a got a unroller. So, how are you guys? I got right into it. I just, you know, I just love me some collage. If I had to say what's your favorite thing to do, I think collage is one of them. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fold that over because this side's gonna be collaged with uh, with pieces that have um, with pieces that are decorative. That's what I'm trying to say. So I just this weekend these ones that are done here that we can decorate. I just sat and watched TV and did this. I just put the strips on. I was watching. What was I well, oh um the track and field gosh that was fun this was from uh I had done the printing of Joey Cardmaker's Autumn Folk I had um let's see I had printed them on coffee dyed paper and it worked out because I just kept all the little strips from fussy cutting the ephemera and these can then go on the back wasting nothing basically is our motto okay so there's that I try and kind of I kind of try and do different colors that's one that's a Edith Holden page So, yeah. So I'm super excited. Today's one of my stay-at-home days. Tomorrow is not. I have a Y board meeting, but today I get to just be at home and in my craft room. My husband's out mowing the yard as we speak. He He's thinking that the fertilizer guys are going to come one of these first days and he's like, "Got to get it mowed before they come." Okay, I'll be in my craft room. <laughs> How many times a week do you think he hears that? <laughs> a few. Yep, a few. I'll just I'll just tear that one off and 
this is old book page. I can tell it's very, very fragile. So we'll just give it a new life and pop it on the back of a journal card, maybe. If I can get it straight. Okay. Then I just have this little spot up here. I'm just going to use that leftover of that. And pop that on there. Okay, so now we have our writing surface. However, this is getting quite yucky. So I'm just going to give it a couple of scoops and we're going to fold it in half. And this is why this is always full because I just keep making more, right? Okay, let's do a little bit of collage on here. Get rid of that. Um, what do I have to collage with here? Oh, what's this? Always, I always love a little scrap from Roxy Creations for for some um, collaging. Ooh, ooh, look at this. This is cool, too. Ooh, I'm going to use that and that strip. And those little scraps will be used up. <laughs> She's... She's a wild collager, people. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy woman. Crazy woman. Oh, we watched a good movie last night. I haven't told you guys about a good movie in a while. Um, it was called Heart of Stone. It was very action-packed. Very fun. Um, my husband loved it. I loved it. It was good. So, so there you go. There's the movie recon recommendation for the day. I'm just going to chop that off. And there we have another journal card to sew around. And um, as I was saying with Rachel, she just sometimes cuts off the corners like that, and I do like that look, too. I don't like the little pieces flying all over my desk, but yeah, so that one is ready to go. Don't even have to cut it up, so there you go. Uh, let's do one of the long ones, too. Um, these, these pages are pretty long. They're like eight and a half. So what I'll probably do is make this a little pocket tag on this one. And let's see, maybe we could do, we could do that. But first, let's use some of our strips and do the back so that we know. Otherwise, I'll think it's a pocket, you know, so. So I am just going to cover this back and then I'll know it's meant to be a tag. So we'll do that real quick. Then we'll get to decorating K. Okay? Yeah. Collaging and decorating. Those are my favorites. I do enjoy just, and I really do love, like, just having something on this, like this on my lap while I'm watching sports on TV on the weekend or whatever. It's just, it's just fun to have something to keep my hands busy. Although I really need to get working on my, on my, um, I have an unfinished afghan. And my granddaughter wants it, and I need to need to get that done for her one of these days. I'm just grabbing the scraps, looking for one that'll fit. There it is. Ooh, there it is. Okay. So tag back. It's not quite done. <laughs> I still have that little piece right there. Do I have an itty bitty piece? I do. 
Gosh, I wonder what I did to my hand. I just noticed that. Got a bit of a owie. Probably stuck it in somewhere to grab something that didn't want to be. <laughs> okay. I want to put that like that, and then I'm going to wrap that around, I think. Okay, this one's getting pretty sticky. Should we make it? We'll make it the long way. So see, that's just that's just how I keep the the stock of bases going. Works out great though. Trying to kind of line up the vase of flowers in the middle. Okay, that's that's very fun. All right, and then I need something on the bottom. Well, that's not too bad. What else do we have over here? else that I would like better. My goodness, scraps, scraps, and more scraps. They're getting to the point. Oh, look, I had a base in my scraps. <laughs> that was from the TV watching episode. Okay, I think this is about the best I'm going to do. So, I think what we'll do is tear that off a little bit. I think I like that side the best. Okay. Don't want to wrap this around because I already did that. And I need a little off of the bottom as well. Because if I wrap it around, that's just less journaling space. I already did that. Ah, shoot. Sorry, guys. Uncoordinated. I've been talking about that. It's just... I keep thinking that doing what I do, I will stave off the old lady uncoordination. <laughs> but it's not working. Okay, I'm going to put that on the pocket like so okay and I'm going to take my little circle punch and give that a quick little little clip and then um, I don't really need to glue this because I'm going to sew around it um, I think I'm going to cut that like a tag. And there we have just a little pocket tag sort of thing. So when I decorate this, I would probably put a label there or something. That might be it. Okay, cool. So that is that. And, um... We'll see. If we have time, we might collage a page in the book. But right now, I want to do a little bit of decorating on these ones that I've already sewn around. Well, of course, too, because it's me, I need to have, I need to have them outlined. These are going to be great, though, for some fall journals. We're going to get those organized here one of these first days. I have something in mind for tomorrow and Monday, but maybe Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I'm liking these. These are cute. Okay, and I, what I have here, guys, first of all, I have my little 
throw it in sort of sort of bowl here and I need to use some stuff out of it it's getting way too full and then I have over here I have some stuff as I was cleaning out my rolly cards that I found I found these butterflies ginormous birds I don't know and then these I thought maybe some of those would oh there's a there's a fall one. You know, maybe some of those would work. I'm gonna push my scraps aside a bit. Move things over so I have a little have a little room here. I don't know. There might be one of those butterflies that works, but I've decided to try and oops. Um try and just use these things. That's that's what I'm gonna try and do. I think I might just put him there and that's going to be that on this one. That little bird stamp is so stinking cute anyways. Book page scrap. These too. So really there's lots of uses for book pages <laughs> in what we do. There really is. And, you know, I try to definitely for the um, glue books, I try and use, try and use books that are on their last legs, you know, they're about ready to give up the ghost. Okay, that's cute. Now I have this. Do I want that on there? I think I might. Let's just do it. I'm going to try not to think too much doing this decorating. I just, these are things that I want to use up. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to try and go for it here without a lot of hemming and hawing about what to put where. There we go. There's one. One and done. Nope, not one and done. Got more to do. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to put that back up there so it's not in my way. Okay. There was a fall colored mothy thing. And where these came from, I don't re I don't know. They're just really big. But that's cute there, isn't it? I think I might put it up higher. If I put it up higher, I maybe could use one of those little labels too. Okay, let's just give him a little bit of something on his antlers. Okay. I'm going to pop him there. And then we'll see if one of these... I'm thinking about just right in there. Maybe just a number. Can you hear my husband's little? I'm just gonna put that right in the middle there. And then that kind of covers up the split between these two papers a little bit. Okay, another one on the way. That's not sticking down. Sometimes you just got to go with the art glitter glue on the edges. Oh, same with the antlers. Okay. Well, there we go. Did those two. Love those. Okay. These birds. I don't know. They came out of a book, and I just don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna have anything large enough <laughs> for these birds. But they're cool birds. I took the trouble of cutting out. Where is that great big journal card? This one. Don't have to sew on it always first. Sometimes you can. And do 
do this. <clears throat> yeah, we had we had some good rain, so I think the yard really grew through having that nice rain. It's it's not used to that in August, but it was kind of I think our little our little bit of Hurricane Hillary. I mean, by the time it gets to us, it's just a lovely little rain shower. <laughs> oh, sure thinking about the folks in California, California and Maui. That's who's on my mind these days. Okay. So let's see if we can make one of these birds work. This guy is so cool. Look at him with his big old wings. He's just too giant, too giant. This guy's good. He could work. Let's see what else we've got. What's this? What the heck? It looks like a bird slash fish. Oh, it goes like this. <laughs> it's a bird this way. It's a fish this way. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's a cool one, too. But we'd have to... I mean, he could go this way. Ooh. Do I like him on there? I do. Okay. Well, we will have used one bird. Maybe maybe this guy will fit on something else. This one would would fit on something. Okay, I'm just gonna leave those out and set those over there. Oh, I do like that though. Alright. Haven't used a thing out of my little use it jar, but I could put that there. I'm going to do that. Okay. This one's going to be decorated before it gets sewn. <laughs> I'll just decorate it and throw it back in the to be sewn pile. Sometimes if I get my video done about, you know, like a half hour 20 minutes before lunchtime or something I'll just sit and sew these until it's lunchtime that's that's how I kind of that's how I fit in the sewing because I try not to do too too much sewing unless it's you know part of the project on camera because you know just because some people it bothers but a lot of people say it reminds them of their mom or grandma, and I love that. Love that. Okay, that is that, and then that will just be sewn around. Sweet. So we have that pile to pull from, too, as we look at stuff. Okay, let's go back to looking at the, oh, this one, actually, those two could be fallish, too if decorated in the right way. Let's see if there's a big old fall colored butterfly for that one. Look at this guy. He's ginormous. I don't like it because he goes over the sewing. He's too big. Just a bit, not too much, just a bit. This is the same one, but I do like him. I'm gonna put him there. You know, sometimes it doesn't take much because, you know, your um, your papers are pretty and you want the papers to show too. So sometimes it doesn't take all that much to say, okay, that's decorated. Okay. I just pop him right in the middle. It's got the decorative leaf sewing on it. So, yeah, isn't that cute? Oh, except it needs, needs an edge. And it'll be even happier. I don't even know how many autumn journals I have. I've just been, 
I've been kind of popping them into this sack where I keep my little pre-made journal kits as I do them. And so I'm not even sure how many are in there, but I know there's quite a few. So, and I don't even know, I'm going to give that a little, I don't even know. I think we might have some pre-made ephemera in my um, fall tub. I want to pull that out too. Okay, let's do this one. I wonder, I was kind of wishing there'd be one of those um, book page stamped things, but I don't know if there's the right color, so we'll, we'll check that out. I do see a little postmark that kind of goes. Might be, might be something. Okay. Oh, here's a, Here's an orange birdie. Nope. Ooh, there is some green. That's too big. What else do we have? Got a little cherish. Got a little grateful. Not loving them on there. But, let's see. Ooh, yellow. It's a small little cherish. Ooh, and a bumblebee. And a little plant. Nope, I like that better. Okay, and another green one. So I kind of have the colors separated out a little bit. Okay. What about... What about a mushroom? Just a little mushroom. It's kind of cute. I mean, Kind of looking for a little yellower mushroom. Nope, I think I like that one. It's always the first. Just go with the first thing you grab, Gail. Because that's what it ends up being anyway. Okay, cool. Well, I did kind of want to veer off from our butterfly. Boy, that is old, old book page. It's falling apart. Here, I'm going to rip it. The part that's, oh, the part that's painted is a little tougher. Look, <laughs> I just, ugh. It's got glue on the fingers. So, just wanted to look and see how we're doing. We got, we've got time, time to do, cause I kind of like to do some non-fall too. Okay. Put you on there, little, little mushroom. I'm gonna slide you over a little bit so you're not into the sewing. Okay. Yeah, that's happy. Okay, so now we've got like this one. I feel like I just need something right there because she is so cute. Be great to get all of these done. And then I'll just have my have my pile of has to be sewn things. I 
kind of a case of making something from nothing, your old glue pages, isn't it? Okay, well, I do have quite a bit of pink in here. I'm wondering if I have something. Oh, there's a bunny. No. No, no, no. Let's see. Maybe just a flower. Um, I have this bag of flowers from tailor-made journals that I'm wanting to work out of because they I have a, a little um, a little case like like this full of tailor-made journals flowers but they there was so many they wouldn't even fit okay I like that better and Feeling like I'd like a little. I think I'd like a little word on there, but we'll have to see what we find. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so we we watched Heart of Stone, and then we watched an episode of our current series, which is called Pine Gap, which makes me think of all my friends in Australia, because it's set in Australia. Oops. A little crooked. There we go. I'd like a little word right there. Those are too big. Um, let's see. I'm looking at my at my options here. These are from Sweet Shop Scraps. The word. Kind. These are not. Who are these from? Oh, uh, Journey of Crafting. Perfect color. Yep, perfect size. Awesome. Um, if you don't have a lot of digitals or don't have those capabilities, you can always cut words out of a magazine. That's another way to have some words to work with. Okay. Okay, I like that one. That's fun. All right. Um, a few more here. This one needs something bigger. Maybe one of those birds would work. Let's go put those back over here. Not him. He's too tall. Unless I went this way. Could do that and put a word down there. That's what I'm going to do on that. I said I was going to try and use these things. So that's what I'm doing. I don't think he even needs to be. Um, sometimes I also glue on the other sides. So this one will get thrown away because it'll be all gluey everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to use these things that... I've had for a while. Okay, I really like that. And then I'm thinking my friend Lynn will come to the come to the rescue with a word. 
They're too big. Gracious. Um, he's charming. Let's put that there. That's kind of, um, I don't know, makes me giggle because he's a bird. How charming can a bird be? I bet you they can be. I mean, Pam at the paper out house. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pam. Pam from the paper outpost, not outhouse. <laughs> Oh, what can I say? I'm a Montana girl. I know outhouses. <laughs> oh, that's got to be one of the best faux pas I've ever done. <laughs> Pam from the paper outhouse. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, what was I saying? Oh, she has birds that I think she thinks they're charming. There we go. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I had to ink and think because I think this one's going to need a flower, don't you? Yeah, but I haven't used anything out of there yet. Oh, there's a butterfly that might work. Oh my gosh. Okay, my eyes are all full of tears. <laughs> Gonna take a while to recover from that one. <laughs> See this guy? He needs to be cut out. I need to cut him out. I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh, a gale. You are so weird. Oh my goodness. Okay, so flower. We have something that I want something that will kind of stand out. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Well, always good to start the day with a chuckle. <laughs> At least I was amused. I'm sure Pam wasn't. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Pam. Jeez. I don't think she watches my videos anyway, so shh, don't tell her. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If she does, she never comments. So there you go. I understand. There comes a point where you can only watch so many videos and make them yourselves. So there we go. I'm going to put those flowers there. And I did see something down in here. Nope, it blends in too much. Well, maybe one of these. Butterfly. Just looking for something that. Maybe this one. I'm going to put that there and a word there, I think. Um, word, let's see. How about one of these? There's pink words. Blends in a little too much. I do like that. How about this blue? I think I like that because it brings in that. And then I think we need a butterfly on here. Uh, Bloom and Heather Designs, that one. And then, 
want a butterfly up there. A smaller one than is in my use it up though. We have these pretty ones from um, Lorette. She sent me for my birthday. That's just great. Okay, how are we doing time wise? Just about there. I think I'm going to have a couple left over to decorate, which is okay. Alrighty then. I think I'm going to put this on so that the, the wings still kind of flap up. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, let's look at what we've done. And we will call it good. So we got a bunch cut up. We don't need to don't need to go through that other than to say there's a whole pile of sewing here. These three we did not get done. Those will go in the to-do box. Okay, so we did this one. So that I'll just put in the sewing. So look at all these things to sew. I'm so excited. So excited. Okay. And then we did this one. We did this one. This one. This one. This one. And this little guy so we got we got what did we get seven of them decorated eight if you count the one not sewn and then um so uh yeah used up a few things but that's that's what you can do with your glue book pages just just use them as bases for ephemera collage a, up a storm and then cut them into or, you know, or use the, the pre-folded ones, whichever way. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.